Okay, in this video we're going to look at counting numbers of possible telephone numbers. We'll do example 5 here with early phone numbers, example 6 with our 360 uh, uh, area code, and example 7 count the number of possible toll-free numbers. So let's start with example 5, early phone numbers. So let's say uh, this, is, this is quite accurate. In 1894 a town has only two digits for each telephone number and only uses the digits two through nine. How many different telephone numbers can be assigned to the town? Okay. And bear in mind that they did have letters in the phone number, but the letters always corresponded to a number anyway. And so essentially, um, for part A here, we, we have two um, options if you have a telephone number and you know they do they usually represent they did represent letters but but they were they went through as as uh, kind of numbers and so essentially your options were you could have the number two three four five six seven or eight or nine uh, in the first uh, the first part of your number and then again the number two three four five six seven eight or nine as the next part of your phone number so please press pause in the video and figure out, given that, how many unique telephone numbers can you create? Okay, I hope you press pause and give it a go. I'm going to help you with it now. So, for example, you could you could take the number two as the first uh, digit in your number, and then on to that you could add a two, or you can go two and then three or two four two five two six two seven two eight two nine okay and that gives us eight options okay starting with two and then if you start your number with three you'll find there are also eight options right because it's Three two three 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 four three five three six three seven three eight three nine. Eight options starting with three. How about starting with four? Same thing again, right? There's gonna be eight options, isn't there? Because it's gonna be for two, for three, for four, five, for six, for seven, for eight, and for nine. So eight options again and so on and starting with five there's eight options starting with six there's eight options starting with seven there's eight options starting with eight there's eight options and starting with nine there are eight options okay and so the answer is if you listed them all out and I didn't list them all out but we ha would have eight options here eight options here eight options here eight options start with five eight seven okay and if you just add them all up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, sixty-four options. Okay, and that would be the answer to part A. So that's kind of the writing it out way of doing it, and it's always good to do that, especially if you want to just try to get a visual or if you're stuck or whatever on a question. But um, if you there are eight possibilities in the first for the first digit. And there are also eight possibilities for the next digit because remember one and zero are not included then you can actually multiply because an eight times eight will give you 64 by multiplying also won't it right so but but I really want want you guys to kind of think and, and understand what's going on rather than just memorizing uh, methods or whatever so part B by 1902, the town has more phone users and three digit telephone numbers are used. If they still only use digits two through nine, how many different phone numbers are possible? Okay. So this time you've got three digits. And what I want you to think about is we almost listed all 64 of the possible phone numbers, like two, two, or four seven or whatever it could be nine two or whatever so we almost well five two six two seven two eight two right and these this went all the way down through five nine 
to net this is a, a phone number at five nine and this one went all the way down through six nine and so on and this one all went all the way down through nine nine okay so what I'm trying to say is seven nine eight nine we listed almost listed 64 different phone numbers okay uh, that that started that had two digits in it right but if you add on a third digit to a phone number what I want you to understand is you can take any one of those like randomly let's take this phone number four five any one of those and you can add on another digit like two but you can also go four five and then add on a new digit of three and that's another one so for any of these two digit phone numbers there's actually eight new ones that you can create and so let me list them here so for the phone number four five back in be back in the 19th century For, for the phone number four or five, just by adding one more digit, you can create eight new phone numbers. This is eight new phone numbers. Okay. Using the digits four or five. Four or five something gives us eight new phone numbers. And so that is the key to understanding this. And, and you can do that for any two digit phone number like if we take for example the phone number eight nine right we could do the same thing so if the first digit was eight the second digit was nine I'll list them all out here you could go eight nine two eight nine three eight nine four eight nine five eight nine six eight nine seven eight nine eight eight nine nine and that is taking a two digit phone number eight nine adding on one digit to it to create eight more new phone numbers so for every one of these 64 digit phone numbers we can create eight new three digit phone numbers and so the way to get the answer to this how many different phone numbers are possible if you're using three digits and you're using just two to nine not zero and one the answer is 8 times 8 was 64, wasn't it? But times 8 again, that's 512, isn't it? So just by adding on another digit, we've gone from 64 phone numbers to 512 possible phone numbers. 512 possible numbers. Okay. So, please do part C. Um, let me get new paper, I guess. Part C. By 1911, the town has more phone users and four-digit telephone numbers are used. If they still only use digits two through nine, how many different phone numbers are possible now? So, please press pause on the video and do part C. Okay. I hope you press pause in the video. I'm going to do it now. So again, this time we've got one, two, three, four digit phone number, but only using digits two through nine, not using zero or one. And again, the same logic applies as we talked about. You can take any three digit number, like um, we could take the three digit number two, uh, three, nine and then we can add on another digit and that is eight new numbers so for every three digit number we can add on another digit to create eight new phone numbers okay so um, so for example I'll, I'll just write them out if you had two three nine like I said that could be um, two three nine Oops. 
That could be 2392, 2393, 2394, 2395, 6, 7, 8, or 9. So for any three digit phone number, we add on one more digit, and that's eight new numbers. See that? Eight new numbers, right? So there were 512 three digit numbers, and for every one of those 512 possible three digit numbers, we can now Multi we can now get eight new four digit numbers. So we simply take 512 and multiply it by eight. And that's our answer, 4096. 4096 possible four digit phone numbers. So 4096 new users by 1911. Or, and the, the other way, and the way, the kind of formula way, I guess, is you just go eight times eight, 64, times eight again, 512, times eight again, 4096. But really hope we can think about this and understand why rather than memorizing what to do. Okay, so example six, 360 phone numbers. The 360 telephone area code is used from Washington's Canadian border to its Oregon border. And there's a map on that. It's, you know, Western Washington, excluding um, uh, Seattle and most Seattle and things like that, or parts of it. After 360, each phone number in the area has seven digits from zero to nine. Ignoring annual restrictions like, I don't think there's such a thing as zero, 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 or maybe all ones in a row or whatever. How many possible phone numbers are there? So we'll just keep it simple and we can say that you're going to dial in 360, but then you're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 digits after that. How many 360 telephone numbers are possible? Please press pause on the video and try and answer it, and then I'll go over it with you. Okay, I hope you've pressed pause and tried it yourself. Now we'll go over it. So um, remember that this is modern phone number so we can use digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. How many digits is that? That is 1 through 9 and a 0, that's 10 possible digits for the first part of the phone number. The first digit in the phone number, there's 10 possible, right? And so that means the first part of the phone number could be, for example, zero um, well it could start with zero um, so it could be zero one zero two zero three zero four zero five zero six zero seven zero eight or zero nine in fact I'm not sure if that is possible but but just from a math point of view just again an estimate we're just going to estimate the possible numbers I'm not actually sure of the technical restrictions on phone numbers uh, it could start with 1, so it could be 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6, 1, 7, 1, 8, or 1, 9. Okay, and so on. Right, so for the first two digits, how many possible options are there? If we just looked at the first two digits, let's start there. If you just look at the first two digits, how many possible options are there? Two one, two two, two three, two four, two five, two six, two seven, two eight, two nine, and so on, all the way through starting with nine. So nine one, nine two, nine three, nine four, nine five, nine six, nine seven, nine eight, nine nine. So just looking at the first two digits. I hope, uh, I didn't write them all out, but I hope you might be able to see that there are actually 100 possible options just for the first two digits because there are 10 options beginning with 0, 10 options begin with 1, 10 options begin with 2, 10 options begin with 3, 10 options begin with 4, 10 begin with 5, 10 begin with 6, all the way through 10 begin with 9 to make 100 options just for the first two digits. Agreed? Does that make sense? 100 options just for the first two digits. Okay? But now, now, and, and the quicker way is, well, 10 times 10 is 100, right? But then going on to the next digit, 
for looking at three digit numbers. The thing about it is you could take any one of those two digit numbers like this one, two four. You could take two four. No, sorry, two four. That's a two digit the first that's the first two digits in the phone number two four. And on to two four you could add ten possible numbers. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so you can take any any of the possible two digits to begin with, add on ten options more. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so two, four, zero, two, four, one, two, four, two, two, four, three, two, four, four, two, four, five, two, four, six, two, four, seven, two, four, eight, two, four, nine. And that is 10 new uh, possibilities that, that start with 2, 4, right? And you can do that for every single two digit beginning. So the begin part number is two digits, and you can add on to get a three digit number, there are 10 for every one of those. Okay, so for example, 9, if you just pick randomly 9, 6, 9, 6 something, there are 10 options, right? Um, or one seven, one seven something. There are another ten options, right? So what I want you to understand, without just multiplying things out, just to understand that for every two-digit option, you can pluck it out and you can stick in a digit at the end of it, and now you have ten new options for for three-digit phone numbers. And that's why when we go to three digits, we actually get one thousand. Um, options for the first three digits. Does that make sense? So three digits gives us 1,000 options, right? 10 times 10 times 10 is 1,000. For the fourth digit of the phone number, you 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 heard you, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take any three-digit option, like uh, two four five. And I'm going to add on another digit, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. And that's going to give me, for every three digit option, of which there are a thousand, that's going to give me 10 new ones. So picking any three digit option, I can add on any digit from 0 through 9, and that gives me 10 new options for four digits, right? So here's another one. You could you could have eight nine nine, and then add on another digit, and that's ten new ones. And so for every one of our thousand three-digit options, we can add on a digit to get ten thousand options for four digits in a row. Okay. And so here's our phone number three six zero, and for the first digit ten ten options ten options ten options. 10 options, now we're up to 10,000, and it just keeps going. And of course you can multiply that, but just to understand it, five digits, take any random four digit option of which there are 10,000, remember, such as one, three, one, uh, seven, and add on one more digit, there are 10 options, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And so for every one of our four digit options, we can add on a digit at the end, and so we can get 10 new options for every four digit, right? So so we can take any one of our 10,000 four digit options, add on a digit, now we have 100,000 options for five digits in a row, right? 100,000 and six digits, similarly, take any five digit option like two, three, nine, for one, add on another option at the end for a six digit number, and now for every five digit num number, we can add on it for every five uh, length of five digit number, we can add on a digit at the end, zero through nine, and get 10 new numbers. So for every 100,000 options of five digits in a row, we add on one digit, now we have one million options for a six digit number, okay? And how about a seven million or seven digit number? For a seven digit number, same thing again. 
We can take any six digit number like 973412 and we can add on another digit that ranges from 0 through 9, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Add it on, and now for every million six digit uh, possible uh, sequence of numbers, um, we can add on a digit, and, and, and that will give us, for every one of those six digit uh, numbers, we can get 10 new seven digit numbers, okay? So we can take any one of those million six digit options, add on a digit, and now that is 10 new ones, so 10 million. Uh, po possibilities here, or options, right? Or numbers, whatever you want to call it. So, for a, how many possible phone numbers are there, if we ignore restrictions on what the numbers need to look like, the answer is 10 times 10, seven times 10 to the power of seven or 10 million, right? 10 million possible 360 phone numbers, okay? So on to example seven. As of 2017, there are now seven possible prefixes for toll-free numbers 800, 888, 877, 866, 855, 844 and 833. Ignoring any restrictions, how many toll-free telephone numbers would be possible, right? So let's start with 800. After 800, there are going to be seven digits. Agreed? Okay. So just tell me to begin with, um, and then I'll ask you to finish the question on your own, but tell me to begin with, how many possible phone numbers can we have that start with 800? Ignoring any restrictions, like it can't all be the same digit in a row, like 333, 333, 3 or whatever, and there's probably restrictions like that, I'm sure. But um, ignoring those, how many possible phone numbers can we have begin with 800? if there's seven digits after it. So the answer is exactly the same as what we just went over in a previous example, okay? If there are 10 options for each place, for each digit spot, we can just multiply 10 times itself seven times to get 10 to the power of seven, or 10 million. So that gives us 10 million possible phone numbers starting with 800, okay? So, you might want to press pause and see if you can get the rest of the answer to this question. Press pause and see if you can get the rest of the answer. Okay, I hope you press pause and tried it. I'll do it now. So, just got to think about the next toll-free number, 888. After that, there are seven possible digits after that, right? And just like with 800, that gives us 10 to the power of 7 or 10 million options for phone numbers beginning with 888, right? How about 877? Exact same thing, 10 million options, right? How about 866? Eight, 10 million options again, agreed? How about 855, 844, and 833? Again, 10 million options, 10 million options, 10 million options. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and just as a, 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 a tiny factoid, I think there's about 120 million phone numbers in the USA. So that gives us 70 million possible toll-free numbers um, using these prefixes.